crawling through the rising star cave system that was crazy to get to the chamber you have to go through superman's crawl which is about 20 centimeters and it's about five meters in length on your belly kissing the ground as you go through inhaling all the dust and the tiniest point in the shoot is called the pinch point and it's about 18 centimeters in width and you have to squeeze yourself. My name is Ginello Molipiani. My friends call me Bones and that's because I'm a biological anthropologist slash archaeologist slash curator of the Marapeng and Stagfontein Caves visitor centers at the Cradle of Humankind. So once upon a time there was a little girl obsessed with Barbies. 23 Barbies watching an episode of Tintin and then all of that changed. She turned into a tomboy. It was just at that moment, I mean, I was seven years old at this point. I decided that I wanted to be an archeologist. I wanted to go to Egypt. I wanted to excavate mummies and find lost tombs and find strange symbols on the walls. That's what I wanted to do. Third year of archeology, span I was just obsessed with everything skeletons. I volunteered for field schools and I dug up pits of bones hanging on for like a cliff with a trowel, trying to like scrape this bone piece. It was adventure. Then I may somehow made it to the UK where I studied my masters. And again, I did a lot of uh, bone work and analyzing teeth. Teeth are creepy, but they tell you quite a bit about a person, where the person comes from um, and how they landed up where they land up. I came back to South Africa with a master's degree, but no job. And I was like, okay, what am I gonna do? Fortunately, a couple of months down the line, I got into an internship program um, that landed me in Cape Town, underwater, looking for shipwrecks and for drowned victims. So this was my first, my toe into underwater archeology. span So I moved from being Burns to being Ariel and also I have red hair. I've been rocking this red hair, pink hair right now, since forever, so I really am Ariel. So after my little mermaid stint, I started lecturing at WITS and then somehow pushed through my PhD, got that through, and then a call went out that Mar Peng was looking for a curator. So as a curator, my job is to work more with the public, to make, to filter through all the science jargon to the normal person. I learned the language of bones at some point, and now I'm learning the language of social media, which is making science cool and accessible on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, all of it. We're using that to communicate science and just to make it less intimidating, because it really isn't, it really isn't if you just understand how to speak the language. South Africa has a very rich fossil heritage. We've produced the most iconic fossils in a very small area, and you don't get that in any other place in the world. And at some point, I think Cyril tried to kiss this thing. Yes, we have other sites in Kenya, for example, but they're just not as magical. And it's through the study of these fossils that we understand the complexities from um, diet to walking upright uh, to behavior. It is this phase of time that connects all of humanity together because this is the period in which we are all one species, one person. So as an archeologist in the Cradle of Humankind, I have a very unique position because I'm a black female. And this is a very rare position to find myself in. I hope to encourage young girls, just like me, to get into this because there really is space for us.